dear students in this question it is given that show uh, giving a suitable diagram how unpolarized light can be polarized by reflection now the diagram that would be pertaining to uh, this figure would be uh, related with the Bre brewster's angle and uh, i'll show you how this looks like so here uh, this ordinary light which is not polarized and from point p it is incident at point a and then what happens is due to this reflection when it is being thrown at uh, when this incident light is incident at an angle which is equal to the brewster's angle so here we will say this something very important that brewster angle is the angle ip here which has its value equal to tan inverse of mu so then we can say if it is incident at this angle then the reflected light is plane polarized where mu is the refractive index of this medium there's one more thing that you have to uh, realize that this is unpolarized light or partially polarized light which is transmitted or refracted so this is uh, the answer to the first question in which we have to justify uh, it with a diagram so we draw it like this and also explaining the concept of the Brewster's angle here so let's see what is the second part here second part says two polaroids P1 and P2 are placed with their pass axis perpendicular to each other that means two polaroids uh, ma are maintaining at an, uh, an angle of 90 degrees with each other that is P1 and P2 and then it is saying we throw un unpolarized light of intensity I0 uh, on that is incident on the first polaroid P1 then what is happening is between these two polaroids a third polaroid p3 is kept between both of them such that it its pass axis makes an angle of 60 degree with that of p1 so we have to determine the intensity uh, of light transmitted to through p1 p2 and p3 so let's see how this would look like in um, in real time scenario so here so this is this is the first polaroid and this is the second polaroid which makes an angle of 90 degree with each other now in between uh, these two polaroids as it is saying there's a third polaroid so we keep a third polaroid here p3 which is making an angle of which is at an angle of 60 degrees with the first polaroid so angle between these two we can easily say is 60 degrees so now this angle is very important to us and the angle between these two uh, respectively would become 30 degrees and now with we will give uh, now we we know that incident uh, the intensity of the incident light is i naught that is incident on the first pol uh, polaroid and then obviously because it is unpolarized light and it goes uh, undergoes polarization for the first time so intensity through p1 would reduce to i0 by 2 and now uh, what we have to calculate uh, that what will be the intensity but, uh, after it gets again polarized polarized with p3 because for the p3 polaroid the incident intensity is i0 by 2 so let's see and uh, what will be the intensity through p3 so we'll work it out in the next page so we just write intensity through p3 is governed by a simple formula that is this is intensity incident cos square theta now theta is the angle between uh, the two polaroids so theta would be in this case 60 degrees and intensity incident would be i0 by 2 so when we we'll calculate this it will be, uh, become i0 by 2 cos square 60 degree now cos square 60 cos uh, 60 is half so cos square 60 would be 1 by 4 so the intensity through p3 would become i0 by 8 now this law that we have used here is is also uh, called from brewster's law we will say from Brewster's 
law. Now important thing to note is that we have got this intensity. So we've already got two intensities. One is I I naught by two through P one, and uh, I naught by eight through P P three. Now we know that the in intensity through P three is I naught by eight. Now in, in a very similar way, using the Brewster's law, we'll find out what is the intensity through P two. So between uh, no, angle between uh, P three and P two is thirty degrees. So let's apply the Brewster's law once again. So let's apply. We will say intensity through P two will be equal to again incident intensity cos square theta. So here we know that the theta would be thirty degrees, and incident intensity would be equal to I naught by eight. So when we uh, put the substitute the values, let's see what we get. So it will become I naught by eight cos square thirty degrees. Now cos thirty uh, is root three by two. So when we calculate this, we we should be getting this equal to I naught by eight root three by two whole square. This will become three by thirty two. Three by thirty two. I know. So this will be the intensity through P two. So we can say intensity out through P two will would be. 3 i not by 32 now we can see that each time we are um, uh, it is being polarized we see that the intensity keeps re uh, reducing from i not uh, from i not to i not by 2 then i not by 8 then 3 i not by 32 so this is how we would be giving the answer to our uh, the second part that was asking us determine the intensity of the light Transmitted through P1, P2, and P3 that we have done uh, using the Brewster's law. So that will be the answer to our question.